All right, this is the last day walking on the Toronto beaches. Tuesday, April 11th, 8.21 a.m. And it's nine degrees Celsius. I was down on the boardwalk yesterday, almost thought this yesterday was gonna be our final day. But no, I was able to do another stroll around here. And then I'm going to go home and finish packing. So in case you were wondering what we're doing today, yes, we're going back to Halifax, Nova Scotia. And we are going to be going to the Toronto Billy Bishop Airport around 12 p.m. And our plane doesn't leave till 4.45 p.m. And then we get into Halifax at Halifax time around 8. So this would be 7 o'clock here. I wasn't ready to leave this beautiful neighborhood, to be honest with you. So I'm taking you guys down for another stroll while I have some spare time. And yes, I've been getting my iced coffee drinks like pretty much every day here. So, because we've been busy pretty much every day. Did a few trips down to the Toronto Eaton Center. A couple trips down to the Bloor Street West, the Manual Life Center. And if you haven't heard, the Italy down there is opened. And it's in the Manual Life Center. And there has been a lot of changes. I got 11 escalator videos cranked out so far, which is 13.5 minutes. Our last one will be the Billy Bishop Airport where you go down two long escalators and that takes you down to the tunnel. So you're underwater. And then when you get on the other side, you go up two elevators and you got two long moving sidewalks. But when I came here last week, one was broken. Two of them that go towards the elevator was ripped apart. So, but the escalators were fine. Although I didn't get to ride them. So, cause I had luggage in my hand. So I had to take the elevator. Also, I've been learning how to use the TTC subway line too, because I has, when I was here on my previous years, I was not really on the line two as much. And we've always take, took the subway line one, and which goes from like uptown to midtown, all the way to downtown Toronto. Also checked out Union Station yesterday. That has some big changes there. More escalators installed. I couldn't get a video of them because they were fairly busy. So I just said, you know what? We could do that another time. That's not a problem. So, and then how we're gonna get to the Billy Bishop Airport is we will, we have to take the subway to Union Station and then there's shuttle buses that go all the way up to the airport, which is not that far to be honest with you. And personally, I think Union Station in Toronto reminds me of the, the Scotia Bank Center in downtown Halifax. But the Halifax airport from downtown Halifax is 30 minutes away by car. As the Toronto airport is really close to downtown Toronto. Like when you get off that plane, you can really see the the CN Tower. Well, we can't really see it right now. So, it's kind of windy down here. But this is 
where I was pretty much almost every morning. There were some days I was walking on Kingston Road. And that's a big street. So I actually explored some more parts to the, the west. Or no wait, to the east. And it's pretty long. If you keep following west from here, that eventually will get you all the way to downtown Toronto, which is about a couple of hours. Which is about a 10 kilometer walk. Also got to check out that big escalator at the Scotia Bank Theater. It's 57 seconds long on average, so that's pretty close to a minute if you want to round it up. So I had some fun on that. It's one of my favorite escalators in Toronto. I was down on uh, Saks Fifth Avenue in the Toronto Eaton Center. That has an escalator and eventually when you go down the escalators to the Saks Food Hall, there's another escalator that takes you underground. Checked out that. The down escalator was broken, all the steps were removed, but the up escalator was fine. I never got to explore the bath while I was here, but you know, you go down the escalator and you're pretty much there, which connects to, I think, 75 office buildings, 1,200 shops, and six subway stations. And the Eaton Center can be accessed by the TTC subway getting off either at Dundas or Queen. And the mall is massive.
So considering it would be 8.30 here now, so Halifax would be 9.30. So they're an hour ahead of here, so. I normally at this day would be working with the, volunteering at the, at the food bank, but can't do it today. So won't be doing that today. Normally today is the day, but I'd be flying back home. So I won't be in Halifax till like eight o'clock there, t Halifax time. So don't mind the dogs barking in the background. And this is where a lot of people will go for their morning runs down here because this is like the perfect spot to do it. I finished my iced coffee. Now I'm just gonna find a garbage can to put this in. Oh, I see one just right over there. And if you can kind of see the CN Tower. Here, I'll stop real quick. So you can really see the CN Tower now. It doesn't feel like you're that far from downtown Toronto, but like I said, if you were gonna walk there, it's gonna take you a good while. It's gonna take you a good two hours to get there from from where I'm at, so. Oh, there's a garbage can. Now I can hold this now with two hands. I apologize if I was kind of shaking the camera a little bit. I didn't mean to, I was just drinking the coffee. I'm gonna have to get used to sitting on that plane for the, for between two to three hours coming back to Halifax. And that I'm not looking forward to because when I was coming here to Toronto, sometimes I found that sitting very, very tricky.
And that day we came to Toronto, the weather was disgusting. But it's gonna be cloudy for the most part today, but we've had a lot of sunny days. The temperatures here are gonna go up to like over 20 degrees for the next few days while I'm here, while I'm here, but I won't be in Toronto and be going in Halifax. So the temperatures there are a little bit cooler just because Halifax is on the ocean. Like the whole peninsula is on the ocean. We're coming up to the Beaches Park Tennis Courts. Sorry for the wind. kind of breezy down here but it's supposed to go up to I think 19 degrees at this time you will expect the temperatures to warm up just a little bit so I'm normally an escalator photographer while I'm away, but I want to take you on the beach. It's my last day I'm going to be doing it just for now. Hopefully I can get up here in June, that'd be great. If you're exploring Toronto and you're trying to grow your walking stuff, Toronto is the best place. Not going to get bored trying to walk on those long streets. Even the shopping malls you can't get bored, you know. If I was walking there for like a couple of hours almost, not going to get bored. So many escalators. I didn't mention the, the bay at the Eaton Center with the Saks Fifth Avenue. Seven floors and it's all escalators. And they're all crisscrossed. And from here, we're not getting too far from Woodbine Beach. Even though we're like 20 minutes in.
from here we would be kind of on Lakeshore Boulevard East. So we're not too far from that actually. Recreation Trail. And that's the waterfront. And it's a shared path. Watch for children. So from here we're getting close to the Woodbine Beach. So that's just like a couple minutes ahead. right now. I'm off to a good fresh start of 5,000 steps so far, which would be just close to four kilometers. Those lights after this would be Northern Dancer Boulevard. Great views of the CN Tower there. I was down there yesterday taking some pictures.
So we're walking on the Great Lakes Waterfront Trail. And here's the map I'm going to show you. So we're currently right here. So we're on the Woodbine Beach now. So this, we're, so we're right close to Northern Dancer Boulevard and this is Lake Shore right here. So we're just a few steps up Queen Street East. And as we come towards here, this is the Billy Bishop Airport that we're flying back to Halifax. So this would be all of downtown. And uh, yeah, the CN Tower. So this would be, a, so this whole area would be the downtown core. And when you're at the Eaton Center, that's the heart of the downtown core, which you're pretty much right at the center of everything. So you can like get to anywhere, no problem, very easily. And the streets are pretty straight and long for the most part. Okay, so now we just made it to Woodbine Beach Park. So that's just a little map there so you can just like use that and just like find your way around with it. You're walking, biking, taking the TTC transit, you know? You know it all. Oh yeah, in the summertime you can, at this truck, there's the food menu right here. So, and again, it's only open in the summer, but it's still closed down for the season because you know, well, we're in the first day of spring, so it's still a little cold and whatnot, so. Oh, shoot. Didn't see where I was going there. Yeah, just kind of watch your step where you're walking on here. This, this boardwalk may not be a fully even surface, so you can easily trip. So just kind of watch your step if you can. When I was walking down here when on my trip here, I would always aim for at least 10 kilometers to start my morning, in case if you wanted to know. Well, there's not very much excitement going on here, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in my next video very shortly after this because I have some escalator videos that I'm going to be posting, and it's more likely going to be finished by tomorrow. 
So I really hope you enjoyed this walk along the boardwalk. So thank you for tagging along if you were with me, you know. The support was really appreciated and I will see you very soon. I still got some other escalator videos that I have to work on. Well, they're fully edited, but I don't want to put them fully on YouTube until I get back to Halifax because you don't know for sure when I'm going to be recording next. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.